good morning students today also we are doing one more optical instrument okay optical experiment the aim of the experiment is to find out the refractive index of the liquid we are using water by using what is convex lens and a plane mirror so this is the plane mirror this is the convex lens and this is the optical bench system we will consider and this is the object needle and with the help of this needle we will calculate the image we will find out the position of the image first the ray diagram is this we will place only the plane mirror on the top of the plane mirror we will keep the image or this particular lens and we will move this particular lens over here and calculate what the object and the inverted image so this way we will calculate a and b a is measured from the top of the lens and b is the distance measured from the top of the mirror so this a plus b by 2 will give me the focal length so i'll measure using this what is a meter scale so i'll note down the reading of a b and the focal length of what the lens now the second procedure is i'll put a water over here and then once again i'll find out the position and then this is a reading from the top of the lens and b reading from the top of the mirror or oh sorry or top of the mirror yeah over here this is the upper one is the convex lens below one is the liquid lens which is you can see over here it is a plano concave lens and now they act as a combination of lenses so when i get this particular image formed so this is the focal length of what the combination of lenses so a b and this is the a b and this is the focal length of the combination lenses as you know the the effective focal length in combination of lenses as 1 by f equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 so similarly how can i calculate the focal length of the liquid lens by using this formula 1 by focal length of the combination which is obtained in the second case when i put the water over here on the top of the mirror and then minus the focal length of the object that is the first reading when we do only with the lens okay so this is the observation table now i'll tell you next how to take the readings now i'll show you how to take the readings okay so over here this stand represents the optical bench system so over here i have a plane mirror on the top of this plane mirror i'll put this convex lens okay and i'll move this pin on the axis which acts as my object and i'll try to find out a position where the image of this needle and object this needle coincides and they move like this means parallax should be removed completely between the object and the image so first i'll just find out that position Yeah, now this is the reading I've got the object and the image coinciding when I move my head like this okay the object and image should move together as we have earlier done in what is a convex lens experiment okay now I'll t tell you how to take the reading so now measure the reading first you'll measure what from the mirror the first reading will be from the mirror to the top of what is a the step so this is nearly 11 centimeter the other reading will be other reading will be take the reading from the top of the lens top of the lens so this two reading now this is 10.5 okay so then we have to dig, do this the a reading and b reading the average reading will be a plus b by 2 now this is called as the focal length of this particular lens okay so the average of these two readings now how to do the second one is i'll make i'll pour some water on the mirror on the this plain mirror okay and slowly drop the water okay and make a layer and now i'll place this convex lens over here now you just see 
that over here now we have a two lens system one is the glass convex lens systems and the below we have the the liquid lens systems okay that is plano concave lens so this system this is the effective combination of lenses now i'll get the image produced by this combination of lenses i'll move again the object on this principal axis and i'll find out a position where again the image coincides and that distance what i have obtained will be the focal length of this combination of lenses When you are taking the readings, please remember that you have to remove the parallax from tip to tip. That means tip of one object should be coinciding with the tip of the image. See now, the object and the image needle are moving together. Wait, wait. Yeah, see object and the image is moving together. So once again, we'll do the same thing. Okay, we'll find out the length from the top of the mirror, this pro, uh, to the tip of the lens. Okay, and then from the top of the lens to the tip of the needle. So you'll get once again the two reading, A reading and B reading and we will take the average A plus B by 2, that reading will be the focal length of this average systems. Okay? And from this, how to calculate the refractive index of the liquid, that calculation part I will show you later.